welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we're going to compare two of my hand grinders. Comandante C40 and we put it against Haimo C40. Free. So we are comparing one of my most expensive grinders and we put it against a grinder that is currently the cheapest that I have. Few statistics for you. Commandante C40 made in Germany, Timur C3 made in China, Commandante weights 635 grams, Timo weights uh, 475 grams. Uh, they both have stainless steel burrs. Commandante 39 millimeters high nitro burrs. C3 got those new spike to cut burrs 38 millimeters they both have that internal adjustment system and especially for pour over methods you would have to do multiple rotations each click on uh, commandante changes the size by 30 microns i couldn't find the size difference on a timer c3 probably more than that the grind speed it's a about the same size wise they about the same but uh, commandante is much thicker commandante is made out of uh, plastic stainless steel and a little bit of the wood while timer is made out of aluminium plastic little bit of stainless steel total capacity for c3 is just 20 grams or so so not much especially if you want to do like a larger batch of the pour overs commandante 35 40 grams so much much better here and the biggest difference here obviously the price commandante 215 pounds timer c3 below 60 pounds the way we're going to compare them today like we normally do uh, espresso and the pour over so if you're as excited as myself definitely click like subscribe and well let's do it once again we're going to do a blind tasting i know it's just the two samples but it's better than nothing so there is number one here and that's for commandante and there is number two here and that's for the timer we're going to use la marzocco liva style profile on decent i'm using a waffle filter basket i might need to play with the dosage a little bit it's difficult to dial them into the same time of extraction we're going to use naturally processed coffee from dark coffee roasters we've the flavor notes of strawberry, milk chocolate and cream. So we've got two beautifully looking shots. I will mix them a little bit without looking. It's always the magic of the coffee. I dialed them in before the video and the shots took 30 seconds each. I did the shots now and they took about 40 seconds. But the good news is that they are both around 40 seconds. So let's choose one at random. Okay, cheers. There is a nice sourness. No unpleasant aftertaste. Cream, maybe. Smooth flavors. There is a depth. There is a sweetness. It's a pleasant shot. Strawberries. Well, there is a sourness. So I can say I can say I can taste strawberries. Maybe even a little bit of the vanilla. Very soft. Very nice. Very nice shot. The body, I would say, is average. Not too thin. Not too thick. Let's wash my mouth with water. And cheers. This is also good. <laughs> more sourness in this shot but because there are strawberry notes in this coffee that sourness fits nicely here i said the other one the uh, body was average here it's slightly thinner overall the pleasantness the first shot was a bit more pleasant but this one if you are looking for those fruitiness you may as well go for this one so i would say they similar the, the first one was slightly nicer so decision time it depends what you are looking for in the coffee sweetness more sweetness and overall pleasantness a little bit sharper notes but with this particular coffee it works well difficult difficult this is probably slightly more three-dimensional but uh, as i said this one is not bad either i would say it's a draw but if i had to if i had to choose i would go for this one so the shot that i went for number one so the commandante won just to prove you number two here so commandante gave me overall a better picture maybe slightly more depth but c3 my god especially for like a fruity coffee where you want that sourness where you want that little bit of the punch it was very very good now is the time for the pour over so we're going to use a rock w1 brewer very interesting brewer it combines uh, like a v60 with the lily drip we will use those uh, fast uh, filters that 
I really like. I put the notes in the description if you want to get them from Amazon and support the channel. And we also need a coffee. That will be the Windmill Street uh, coffee. I bought it during the London Coffee Festival. Very interesting anaerobically processed coffee with the tasting notes of clementine, cream, brown sugar, pineapple, orange, plum. If we can get all of those flavor notes, that's already a winner. On the internet, you can find those tables where the people try to translate clicks from, uh, let's say, Commandante to other grinders. So I found one. I will use 21 clicks on a Commandante and a 13 clicks uh, on the C3. 15 grams of coffee in, 250 grams of liquid. Water temperature, 97 degrees. Five pours. First pour will be 30 seconds. So that's a blooming phase. And then every 20 seconds or so, I will do another pour. Let's do it. Two cups are ready. Cheers. Definitely orangey flavors I'm getting here. Not so much sweetness. Pineapple. Mm. There is nice level of sourness, which again fits nicely with this coffee. Let's taste the other one. Cheers. That sourness is a bit less dominant here than the, the first cup. There is a little bit more sweetness and smoothness in the taste. Let me do a few more runs and then I tell you my final uh, verdict okay, here. So, so I've been trying, trying and trying. Again, not much difference. And if there is not much difference, it's already a win for C3 because it's much, much cheaper. So this one, that sourness, it's very strong. So you drink it and it slaps you in the face immediately, full on. This cup, you also have that sourness, but it develops. It starts gently and then and then it develops and because of that gentle movement it creates that more orangey nicely orangey flavor while the other one was more like a lemony flavors i tried to look for those other notes here brown sugar i mean sugar i mean this cup is a little bit sweeter cream maybe but the rest of the flavor notes i cannot i cannot find here here it's um, lemon not much else. In this cup, I can look for some nuances. Not immediately obvious, okay, not clear. Here it's um, it's lemon. It's not bad. So this is good. This is slightly better. The one that I liked the most, well, it's Commandante again. I, I was suspecting that. I know the Commandante well. I know those flavor notes from the Commandante. So just to prove you here, number two and that's the that's the timer guys if you are still here definitely click like consider subscribing to the channel that's what we are doing here experimenting comparing we also do some coffee roasting lots of things coming to the channel in the next few months so we're going to have plenty of fun my final conclusions for today the winner of today's test is commandant espresso was slightly better moreover the timer was not bad not bad lemon strong flavors but two-dimensional the pour over on the commandante got more depth there was a sourness pleasant sourness but more towards oranges clementines maybe maybe i could look for some other flavor notes i like sour coffees i like sour pour overs okay so for for myself they both were good but here apart from that sourness there was not much else while here i could look for nuances you get more clicks on on the uh, Commandante than on the C3, so slightly easier to dial in, but I wouldn't use neither of them for a espresso. Minute and a half, two minutes to grind for one espresso. And just think about it, this morning it took me, what, four attempts to, to dial them in each? That's lots of hand grinding, you know, that's, that's my gym for today, I don't need to do anything else. It took about 45-50 seconds on both of them to grind for the pour over, that 15 grams of coffee. If you are looking for the best of the best uh, hand grinder for the pour over, I mean, there are other options, but here, definitely Commandante. But that Timor C3, I cannot imagine you can find any better grinder in this price range. I think it's the best budget option you can you can find there. I mean, you can argue with me and please do in the comments. So the way I see it, if you are obsessed with the coffee, if you are looking for the best of the best, if you want to do lots of pour overs, then Commandante is the way to go. If you're looking for some occasional hand grinder, for occasional pour over, maybe you want to travel, maybe you want something small time or c3 so now guys it's time for you to share if you have commandante if you have timer do you like them which one do you think That's is better today. thank you very much for watching my name is jack this is my coffee show and hopefully i will see you soon thank you bye <laughs>